and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Welcome if you're new. My name is Lindsay. I'm a mom in the Maritimes, a stay-at-home mom of four. And in today's video, I'm sharing a week's worth of suppers with you. So come join me and see what um, I made for my family this week for supper. So tonight I am making, um, it's called Honey Baked Chicken, and it is really good. And it is, I think it's only four ingredients. It's super easy, super quick. It's Friday and that's what we're having for supper tonight. Fine chicken thighs are the best to use with this recipe. So I just have mine thawing in the sink. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Um, but I find, I've done them with chicken breasts too, but I do find the chicken thighs, the boneless, skinless chicken thighs do turn out the best. So I'm just going to trim some of the fat off of those and get those in my dish. Okay, so I've just trimmed off all the fat on my chicken thighs and honestly that's probably the most time consuming part of the whole recipe. So I have my oven preheating to um, 350 degrees and now I'm going to take a third of a cup of melted butter. I'm going to take this and melt it and then after it's melted I will um, I'll measure it out. Okay, so I have my butter melted and I'm just going to get my measuring cup. And actually, I'm going to grab a dish to mix this, mix this in. I have my measuring cup. You can see here. Oh, all right. So I have my measuring cup and I have my butter. So I'm just going to measure out a third of a cup. All right. So that's pretty well a third of a cup. Just scrape that into there. So to that, you're gonna add a third of a cup of honey. Okay, so I'm gonna measure my honey in there. And then we're gonna add that in with our butter. I'm gonna give that a mix. And then to that, we're just gonna add um, two tablespoons of mustard and one teaspoon of curry powder. So if you're not a curry powder lover, you might not like this recipe. Now I don't usually measure out my mustard. So we want two tablespoons. So I'm gonna, that's one tablespoon. And that's two. And a teaspoon of curry powder. And your teaspoon of curry powder. Um, you're just gonna mix all this together and you're going to pour it over your chicken and you're gonna bake it uncovered for it says at least an hour and a half or an hour and a quarter, sorry. Um, just until your chicken is, is nicely browned and you're gonna baste it with the sauce. It says every 15 minutes, but I mean, I don't usually remember to do that. I usually try and do it a couple times while it's baking and it gives it that nice golden color. I make this a lot, it's one of my go-to recipes. So there's our sauce, that's what that's looking like. And we're just going to pour that over our chicken. I always find this goes, I always make rice with mine. Try and kind of move the sauce around her to make sure that each piece has um, some sauce on it. And that's it. Can't get much easier than that. And then we're just going to um, stick that in the oven just as it is uncovered. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm going to get my, um, my rice going. My favorite rice is uh, jasmine rice. Okay, so I just have my rice in my rice cooker. What do you want to tell everyone? What do you want to tell them? <laughs> Did you go shopping today? Did you go shopping? <laughs> Sorry about the noise. We did go shopping for me. Well, you went to um, some secondhand stores. All right, so my rice is cooking. Um, now I'm just gonna see what I'm gonna have for vegetables. Okay, so to have with our chicken and our rice, I'm just going to um, do some carrots. 
So me and Emily went out this morning. We actually went um, to a couple of thrift stores around town and I just wanted to show you what we got. We found a few things and all of this stuff, I'll show you, I'll show it to you and then I'll tell you how much I spent. I'm gonna close this cupboard door so you don't have to see the inside of my messy cupboards. And um, let me show you what I got. I got this little undershirt for Emily, just for wearing under her um, pajamas. I got this other little undershirt for her. So she'd be cozy in her in her pajamas because it's getting colder now. This little one that says Mama's Girl. I thought that one was cute. Um, I got this here t-shirt for Audrey. I just thought that was cute. The little piece on with the sunflowers. And I got this other shirt for um, Audrey that I thought was really cute. If you can see it. And it says the birthday girl with a little cupcake. I mean her birthday's not for a while yet. But I thought that would be cute for her to wear to school on her birthday. I got these here um, one piece um, pajamas. Anyway, I got those for Ben. And then I got this cute little gap, um, little denim dress. I thought that was kind of cute um, for Emily for when she gets a little bit bigger. And then I got this book, Toronto Maple Leafs, the home team. Um, I got this book. I thought Goosebells most fun. I used to love these books when I was a kid. I thought um, Jacob might enjoy reading that or I thought maybe like we could read it together. And this Franklin book. Audrey and Ben still. Um, they both like Franklin books and I do too. I think they're cute stories. I got all of that. So three books. Um, the pajamas. Two t-shirts, a dress and three undershirts for $1.90. Not crazy. I went to two separate stores. The pajamas and the books, that stuff there was 40 cents. And this here, all this here stuff was in the other secondhand store for um, $1.50. Like, so you can't knock around with that. So I love shopping at secondhand stores. You quiet now, eh? Hey? <laughs> I think you're a sleepy girl, like, because you kind of missed your nap while we were out shopping. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes and I just took my chicken out. I'm just going to um, uh, baste it with the sauce, but that is how it is looking so far. So I'm going to baste it and I'm going to pop it back in the oven. Okay, so there's the chicken. So that's how you want it to look nice and golden brown. And it's perfect timing because I have to leave to go get the kids at the bus in a couple of minutes. So I just took this out of the oven. So it's, uh, it's smelling good. My carrots are done. And I'm just going to turn my rice on now. Okay, so there's our plates tonight. So our chicken, our rice, and our carrots. There's Ben's, and Audrey's, and Emily's. And Jacob's gone for a sleepover. Okay, so we're just getting ready to make supper for Monday night. What are we making for supper? Chicken, tomatoes. Chicken and potatoes. And, and carrots. And carrots. So it's Monday. It's um, it was raining and it was a kind of a yucky yeah, day out there, but it's starting to get sunny up now. So I have my helper here. So we're going to get the chicken in the oven for supper, and get our vegetables peeled, and that's going to be supper for Monday. Okay, so tonight, so we're cooking um, a whole chicken, and Audrey's getting our onion peeled, aren't you? Okay, and we're going to get this chopped up, and we're going to add that to our um, to our pot. Here's the onion. Spread it all around. Okay, so we have our chicken, we have our onion in there. Audrey's gonna pour some water in there for us. So we're just going to add salt. Some salt, salt. yeah. You wanna do some? Some pepper. Some pepper, yeah. Whew, we're getting low on pepper. You wanna do the pepper? Poultry seasoning, Audrey's adding some, some thyme. Okay, yep, yeah, you can put that in, kind of spread it around. We're gonna add some rosemary. Oh, yep, yeah, sprinkle them around. Okay, here, I sprinkle these ones around. Sprinkle all in the water, all around, so they're not all in one spot. We're going to add a bay leaf. Yep, you put that in. Okay, and then we're going to add some celery salt. So I'm just going to take a blob of butter. Well, wait, just wait, Audrey, because I'm going to kind of cut it up. Okay, 
and we're just going to kind of stick them around. Okay, so we're just going to put the lid on this and we're going to bake it. Um, I have the oven set to 325 and I'm going to bake that low and slow probably for a good chunk for a good chunk of the afternoon. Can I come up? Do you want to put the lid on? Okay, so we're just going to get our carrots peeled. Um, we're actually going to cook these carrots in the oven with the chicken. That's my favorite way to cook carrots. Put them in the oven, um, put some water in with them, and let them bake with your chicken or your roast or whatever meat that you're cooking. And um, they are delicious. Okay, you want to put those in the dish? So we just added a, just enough water to um, to cover the carrots, and we're going to put the lid on them. And like, it's at 12 o'clock now, so we're not going to put those in the oven until um, maybe around 1 o'clock. Potatoes. Okay, we're going to get a pot for those. Audrey Jane. Audrey Jane. Hey, so there's supper for Monday night. My place, mine, and Jacob's, mine, and Ben's, and Nanny's. Okay, so it's Tuesday morning here this morning. But I'm making some homemade soup tonight with the chicken that we had from last night. I'm going to make some soup with that. So there's what's left from the chicken from last night. So there's still quite a bit of meat in that on there. So I'm going to just dump all of what's in there. I'm going to dump that in my um in my Dutch oven and um, put some water in there and I'm gonna get that simmering in the oven and I'll probably just leave that on low for a few hours. Okay, so I preheated my oven to 300 degrees because um, I just turned it on low because I'm gonna let this sit for, um, sit in there for a couple of hours. So I had my water, I threw in a giant bay leaf, let that sit in the oven probably until, oh, maybe lunchtime, it's around nine o'clock now. So I will, I'm gonna leave that in there for another bit yet but it's, um, it's looking good, it's smelling good. Um, I just put Emily in for a nap, so I'm going to put this back in the oven and I'm going to start prepping my vegetables for the soup. So for my vegetables, I'm just using potatoes, carrots, and celery. Okay, so my vegetables are all prepped and chopped, my potatoes and my carrots and my celery, and I just have them sitting in some water so that they stay good until it's time to add them to the soup, and I'm going to get started on some rolls to have with it. Okay, so I'm making, these are dinner rolls, and they're kind of a sweet roll. This is the recipe if you're interested in that. It was my grandmother's recipe. So I'm going to get started on those now. In my bowl, I just have um, my tablespoon of yeast, a quarter of a cup of warm water, and a teaspoon of sugar. So I just gave that a mix, and I'm just going to let that sit and do its thing for a few minutes. Okay, so I have um, sifted through my broth. I have picked all of the bones and all of the chicken off, and so I have all the chicken sitting in there. I'm just getting ready to add my vegetables. My yeast mixture is looking good, so I'm getting ready to add my... Um, butter and sugar and milk to that and my butter and milk mixture is at room temperature now so i'm going to add that um get that mixed up okay so i'm just getting ready to add my vegetables try not to make too much of a mess okay so i don't know if anybody else does this but i'm going to add my leftover gravy to my soup just for some more flavor Okay, so I have my gravy in there, and I'm just going to let this simmer on the stove now until the potatoes and the carrots cook, and then I'm going to add my celery after a bit. Um, but yeah, I added that gravy in there. A lot of times I will add all my leftovers. I've added leftover mashed potatoes, um, carrots. I usually just add it all in there for extra flavor. So I'm going to let that um, cook on the stove for a little bit until the vegetables are cooked, and I'm going to work on my rolls. Okay, so I've added my butter and uh, milk mixture to my yeast mixture, and um, I've added a cup of flour. So I've got it in my mixing bowl, and I'm just going to put my dough hook on there, and I'm going to start mixing that up. Okay, so you just want to mix that until it doesn't stick to the sides of the bowl anymore. So that's looking good there. I'm going to take it off of here. I'm going to knead it a little bit, and then I'm going to let it rise. Okay, and there's our soup with our buns, and that's supper for Tuesday night.
What? Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> and we already had half of it. So the soup was a big hit, right, Ben? Mm -hmm. Yeah, half gone. Did you like it, Audrey? Hey everyone, so it's Wednesday and we're just getting ready to make supper. Today we're having kind of an easy supper. We're just having um, some French toast I'm gonna make. There was a couple of leftover frozen hash browns, so I have those going in the air fryer and we're just gonna make some smoothies. Okay, so I'm just getting started on the smoothies. So I just put in there, I had these in the freezer, strawberries, kiwi, and banana. And I also had a bag of uh, frozen raspberries. So I have those in my blender. Um, some milk, some Greek, or yeah, some yogurt, and I just threw in a few chia seeds and some flax seed. And I just have my eggs mixed up and my pan warming up, and we're going to get started on the French toast. Okay, so there's supper tonight, a mountain of French toast, just a few hash browns that were there, and our smoothies. So it's Wednesday here for us now, and for tonight's supper, we're gonna make some chili. So I just put my meat browning in my um, in my pan. So I'm gonna get that cooked up. I only have, um, I don't even know if I have half of an onion, so I'm hoping that that won't reflect on the flavor too, too much. We're gonna get this cooked up. I did think about doing it in the Instant Pot, but I always seem to go back to my to my old ways and just do it on the stove. So we're just going to get this browned up, and um, I'm going to run downstairs and get my cheese. We're going to have it with, I don't have any sour cream either, but that's okay. We're going to have it with some cheese, and I have some Tostitos, and just some um, cut up vegetables, I think. So I brought up my, um, just some sauce from downstairs, and I brought up my um, Tex-Mex shredded cheese that was in the freezer, so that will thaw. Um, but I remember that I had this in the freezer. I mean the freezer in the cupboard corporate um so that will go perfect with chili i completely forgot that i had that so i'm going to mix that up and have that i think that will be um will be really good i don't know what i need for it that will be good i think everybody will like that i bought that a while ago from epicure i don't know if you guys have epicure where you're from but um i'm going to make that so i'm going to get this cooked i'm going to chop my onion and um, see what else i need All right, you guys, I'm having a bit of a brain fart here. I put my sauce in. I forgot to chop up my onions and put those in. I drained the grease up off of the meat and I spilled some of that everywhere. And anyway, we're going to add our onions now. And I don't even have a whole ton. That's all I have. But hopefully, maybe we'll add some onion powder. So I'm just going to add a can of tomato juice. All right, so that's what the chili is looking like so far. I had to doctor the recipe up a little bit because I was missing a few of the um, of the spices. I didn't realize I was how unprepared I was to make chili. But anyway, we may do. Um, I didn't have any uh, ground pepper or oregano, um, but I substituted with this salt, pepper, and garlic. Um, I put onion powder in it, cumin. A little bit of sugar some salt my chili powder and I'm gonna add some celery and um, so this recipe calls for I think it's a quarter of a cup of chili powder which is quite a bit and um, funny story years ago I made this and I had my spices in the cupboard sitting beside each other the chili powder and the um, and the cayenne pepper and I accidentally put in a quarter of a cup of the cayenne pepper instead of the quarter of a cup of chili. Wow, it was so hot. And I tried to, I tried everything to cool it down. I added um, sour cream, I added, um, I forget what I did, this was years ago. But boy, it was hot. And I didn't want to throw it out because, I mean, there's so many ingredients that go in chili. I didn't want to um, have it go to waste and throw it out. So I tried everything to like tame down the heat a little bit. And even my husband couldn't eat it. I mean, we tried, but it was just too hot. I think it did end up in the garbage eventually, but I never made that mistake again. So I didn't have all of the spices and stuff, but I have all of the other stuff because I have this, I have the, the cornbread, and I have Tostitos. I'll have to, um, I'll have to decide unless I just left, I don't know. I'll have to decide. That's a tough one. 
so I just tasted the chili and it's really good. Even with all my little substitutions, mm, it tastes really good. Okay, so my chili's simmering on the stove, that's all done. So I'm just making this, um, the cornbread mixture now. So I'm just following the directions on this package. So I just have my milk and some butter um, in my bowl here. I'm gonna add some eggs in there and I'm just gonna add the, um, the dry mix now. Get that whisk whisked up. Okay, and next I'm just gonna add a quarter of a cup of grated cheese and then I'm gonna get it in my grease pan and get it in the oven. Okay, and there it is, ready to be in the, ready to be put in the oven. Okay, so we're just getting ready to sit down for our Thursday supper. So we have our chili. Yeah, good. It does look good, it smells good too. The naan bread, the garlic naan, the jalapeno cheddar cornbread, which by the way, is delicious, and our cheese. So we're just doing a quick and easy supper tonight. So we're just having a, um, a frozen chicken pot pie, um, a Swiss chalet one that I picked up at the Superstore, some um, gravy to go on top, and then I just cooked some french fries and some onion rings in the air fryer, and that's gonna be supper for tonight. Okay, everyone, so that is going to be it for our week of suppers this week. Um, I know there were nothing, you know, too out of the box or anything, but just what we were eating for supper this week, and we thought I'd share it with you. So I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please consider subscribing. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And um, that's it till next time. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye.